we're back with another video we got another junkyard episode we got to get some parts for the 540 that we just recently bought i need a couple things for my m5 as well and also if we can find some good parts from an e92 or an e90 i might grab a few things as well so you guys know the deal we're going to look for the beamers and look through this junk and see if we can find anything usable and we'll keep you updated on what we can find hopefully they have some new stuff and not the same cars that we've already seen so we're gonna take a look around the junkyard and uh, we'll get back to you when we hopefully find some goodies for E39, E92. We have the same seven series. We'll just take a look and see what has been stripped off. It looks pretty intact. Don't think much has been taken. Uh, I didn't see the seven series before, but again, there's really not much parts value or anything crazy in these cars. They do have some cool interior options and some good options as well. This car still has a headlight, still has the engine and the front clip surprisingly again they take all this stuff out usually usually they drop the engine so it's probably a sign that the engine is bad locked up or something's wrong with it maybe it was knocking so you should just be a parts engine uh we might take a look at this now that we have a 540 we could actually maybe use some v8 parts maybe we'll take a look and see what year this car is see what we're dealing with possibly might be something worth it now so we'll open this up and we'll see uh, I don't even think it's gonna open That might be the problem. <laughs> I think it's jammed. Hey, to give that a good old rip up Then don't lose my bag. Okay, this is worth money. He's the bag boy today Wait, hold on. Let me let me pop the handle while you do that All right, go All right, this is not opening up so uh, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and move on <laughs> Someone got a missing pirate leg in here. If anybody lost that, it's here at the junkyard. This your car? Come get it. You might even get it back for free. I saw this E39 here for the past few weeks. This is the same car that we had got the Style 65 19 inches off of. And I've revisited this car two or three times already. And full turn of events. Now we have a 540 and literally need the parts off of this. The front bumper has a hole and a crack right here, so I don't think we're going to take that. But uh, we could take the bumper off and we could use the crash support and what holds the front bumper, the clips, the bolts, everything that we need. Someone already came through and got most of the suspension. It is only a 528i, so we could look in here and see what else is valuable or useful. Uh, I'm going to check out this hood cable and see if that's any good, but... I don't believe there's anything else we could use from here. It is gray interior. Most of the panels and the buttons are gone and stripped. We don't really need that much anyway. So I'm going to check out that hood cable and we're going to see if we can grab, um, we'll grab that front bumper and the support because that will be cheaper than pick apart. So let me go ahead and check out this hood cable and let me get back to you with uh, our final decision on whether we're going to take that out or not update on the e39 we have the front crash support um the bracing the bracket the hood cable uh all the nuts and bolts for the front end this bumper like we mentioned is cracked it's not very good it's not very savable we need this trim but unfortunately it's completely sun faded all the way around i think i put it back in the car it's completely sun faded and damaged um the only thing we're trying to figure out now is how to open the emergency release from inside the trunk to take the headlights or the taillights i mean this car has pre-facelift ambers which are pretty cool and kind of rare so we might try to grab those um this is the bracket that i believe we need uh it's pretty flimsy i believe i could bend it back i was going to try to take this but you can't do it without cutting it off so i have the bumper mount and everything that should be possibly broken this is the only metal piece that we're gonna have to uh, address i believe it can be bent back and uh somewhat finessed into place i don't think it should be an issue but worst case scenario we might have to come back and see if we can take one of these but i took all the hood latch and all the cables and i don't know what's caught on but it's still stuck in there so the hood won't open now and there's no way to pop it open without breaking stuff so i think this is it for this car we're gonna try to take those amber tails but if not uh, we did get a lot from this car and basically all the stuff we need so we're gonna go to another junkyard after this and see if they have any more e39s and grab a couple more things but we'll take another look around and see if there's anything else worthwhile in here and then, <laughs> and then other than that this might be it for this yard this car is new i haven't seen this one before 
this is actually a pretty nice red i don't know actually the color code of this one but we got tan interior which is unfortunate in these but it looks to be in terrible condition i don't know what paint code this is eddie pop the hood pop the hood on this this oh damn that's messed up damn that's messed up that's somebody's kid all right pop the hood on this lift it up lift that bad boy up oh hurry up god damn oh there's another dme we might need that oh, where's the paint code i don't see paint code what's the what's the numbers on that bad boy pull it out pull it out we might need that take it out all right uh i was gonna look for the paint code but i don't know where it is on these it's supposed to be somewhere over here that's the window in the vent. All right, anyways, nice red. <laughs> we'll just we'll settle at that. It's a nice red. I don't see the paint code. It's whatever. Not that big of a deal. But there's not too much that's new here. I don't think there's any more E39s. We're going to take a look around. Um, pretty sure every other Beamer here is what we need. We might take a license plate because um, they're trying to tow that car already. It's already been two days. So we figure if it's handicap plate, they're not going to tow it. We're handicapped. We're on the search for the other missing one. We're trying to come up on some Jordans at the junkyard. We're gonna resell these bad boys. We're gonna clean them up on eBay. Possibly, if you guys are assigned, what was it, four and a half? Four and a half. If you're four and a half, let them know they're the same ones that he's wearing. So, we're trying to find <laughs> trying to find the other one and uh, hope we get lucky. Anybody need some? Got a little bit of crack, a little bit of tree, a little bit of marijuana. Damn, someone's straight pipe header right here. I said we put that on the 540 and dump it out the hood. That would be pretty sick. Psych. There's a lot of random stuff in here. I don't know what people be leaving in their cars, but damn. We're going to keep the lookout for anything worth it. Lots of underwear. Lots of uh, clothing. Half these cars are already <laughs> somewhat stripped and taken apart. Like, what even is this stuff? Just foam in a bag? Oh, my boy on the search right here. Ooh, Eddie. Eddie, you need some? Stop, stop. Let me see that. Pull it back out. Ah, oh, why would you put this in your car? What do you gain from that? Typical. Typical Dodge owner activities. Hey, watch it. Hey, thirsty bitch with the purse, a spark plug, dirty Q-tips, and a Nike sticker. Just from looking at it, you could tell this woman was definitely speeding. There's some, there's some dirty draws in the back. Damn, this is a nice car. The quarter panel's gone. What else we got back there? Damn, the Jurassic hold Worlds. On, hold on, hold on. The Jurassic Worlds. With a Pokemon card. Damn. So not only was she fucking thirsty, bitch, she got a kid. Aww. Damn. Single mom activities. And she got minutes on a phone card. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. At least, they, at least we have, oh shit. Damn. Hella dirty ass water bottles. What were they doing back here? Okay. All right, bro. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure these ones have been here. This one is five speed. Let's see if it actually is manual. Nope, it's not. I don't know why. It's just five five speed automatic. Uh, yeah, this thing's been here for a while. Um, it's going to apparently maybe some good homes, maybe some crash cars. There's a twin right here. Same exact thing. Uh, it's starting to be slowly stripped, but surely. So, what the hell? That's not part of this. But yeah, they're just very base cars. There's really nothing to them. So we've already seen these cars. We're going to be moving on. They'll both have engines in it still. I don't think there's much more that's new. Barely anything, but we did get a good come up on that E39. So can't really complain. We will go to pick apart after this and get the rest. That's pretty nice. Hey, are you serious? Somebody might need that. Hey, we did find some hand sanitizer and it worked and it actually smells good hot as hell where that might be new i don't know we're gonna go check it out grab your part keep it moving we'll check this out we'll see um 
not much else over here that I see. I think this is old. I was gonna go look at the X3, but the overwhelming smell of diarrhea got to me and I couldn't. <laughs> so we're gonna continue going this way. Maybe there's something else in here, but you can see there's a big gap. So they took out a lot of cars. They have been moving stuff around and making space. And this is pretty big gap for this car or for this junkyard. So we're gonna keep it moving. Must be nice. There's probably a nice Beamer right here that we needed. And now it's gone. This E92 or E93 is actually pretty valid. Uh, I believe it was an M Sport, but I actually do like this interior. This interior is pretty nice with the white and the black. Um, this looks to be a pretty high option car. It's actually pretty nice. Unfortunately, it is front end wreck. Well, it's just a 328i, but it was actually pretty nice. It looks to be when it was intact, but obviously now these brake calipers, hold on, that's actually pretty nice. Actually got some bigger blue calipers. They look pretty nice, surprised. But this car, unfortunately, is pretty damaged and the interior is very dirty. So unless you want, oh, no. Nah. Oh, no, nah, that's not what that's for. That's not what that's for. I'm not, good thing I'm wearing gloves. I thought that was she was a hair dryer. <laughs> nope, that's not a hair dryer. Anyways, uh, I might take a few things for the E92 M3. A couple of those buttons are faded, but they already took the iDrive little controller, which is what I was mainly after. So not much left. What is it? All right. Good. This actually is a new car. Surprised to see here. It does have an M dead stop pedal, which is pretty cool. It has the M little kick plates on the side. So this car was definitely, I think an M Sport, but either way it was upgraded. It's pretty nice. If anyone comes across this at the junkyard, Please stay far away. That's the last thing you want to see. Oh, hell no. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm good off that. That's the last thing I want to see. Hey, if somebody needs a cat. Edward, bring this to the, the scrap guy. Probably give you 30 bucks for that. Oh, shit. 30 buccaronis for the cat. Hairbrush for your girl. Fuel pump. You got a little bit of everything in here. Go on a full shopping spree. We're not even looking for car stuff anymore. Looking for some good stuff to take home. It is extremely windy. We're at Pick Apart now. I'm sorry about the wind. I'm gonna try to only film when the wind calms down, but there's a pretty good selection here right now. So let's see what we can find. There is already an E39 right here. It is actually a very nice blue. So we're gonna look at some of these parts and see what it is. We already gotten a little bit of a hassle here. So uh, let's see how this place goes. Why I hate coming here. Every time you come here, there ends up being a problem. Please don't break something. But I'm gonna go ahead and already look for this cable. I see it tucked up in there. It's right here. We need another one. So we're gonna go ahead and get a cable and take a look around. There's a red E40, e, yeah, E46 right there. Um, some Alpine white cars, a bunch of E46. Looks to be another E39 right there. E38, a bunch of random stuff. God damn, this thing got hit hard. That's insane. That thing sucks about these cars too is that everyone leaves the motor open so it's really hard to actually get some good parts if you need mechanical things because everyone destroys them. But let's go ahead and take a look at this car and uh, get some more parts out of here. This is the other E39. They completely stripped this interior out and they did take the handle for this but it looks to be already halfway apart basically if not all the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this cable out make sure this one's good and this should be the easiest option, but there's that blue E39, there's another blue E39. So hopefully we can get lucky. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cable out and uh, this one will for sure be the easiest since everything's already stripped. So I'm gonna take this one out and verify that it is good. We're in the third E39 that is blue and we came up on a full set of technical graphite. This car is absolutely damaged. That door is pushed so far in, but nobody's really been in here. And this thing has a full set of technical graphite, uncracked, no problem, full set even with the little TPMS switch. So this was actually a pretty good come up. Um, this is a 97, so this is a older car. Surprising to see this in here with the TPMS. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this full trim out and we're gonna take this home. I hate this yard, but can't pass up on that. We came up on the full set of technical graphite and we're on a little bit of a mission right now because I just looked over and I seen this laying around. What's the odds again of finding another Style 65s in the junkyard little update 
this one is manual and it has some harnesses and they're hooked up to the back seat manual little e36 got a couple little mods on it belt looks like my e92 one still got a massive straight pipe a bunch of junk but we're gonna try to find this other wheel I'm trying to be quiet so nobody else hears me hype about this i forgot how to exactly tell i don't know if this says this is a rep because it says i think this is a rep because it says germany but it says ab eins on it so i'm pretty sure it's a rep but even if we could find um the other ones it'll be good found this little shift knob i've never even seen this one before eddie you want this mm. oh. <laughs> that shit it was hard that shit is gonna fucking take your toe out <laughs> that shit's wild that's why oh you just broke it no i took that out here oh, i was gonna say you just broke it oh, <laughs> Hey, uh, oh, you found the key. That's why it opens. All right, hold on. Let me move this and we'll see. Because you need some tools, maybe. We found out where the Style 65s came from. Every single one of them is absolutely destroyed. We have that one. This one is in the rear. And you can see it's completely cracked. Come around the other side. This is the one that I found somewhere over there on the ground. And here we go on the other side again and destroyed completely so there you go that's what happens when you buy reps and get in an accident oh that's actually pretty sick a racing dynamic bar that actually would be valuable if that wasn't completely mangled so that's unfortunate this car actually had some nice parts on it oh it has biohazard on it though i don't know where it is oh it's manual manual had some decent actual parts on it um looks to be an m sport steering wheel got some stickers in here the gauge cluster says boost on it so was it turboed no it was not that's unfortunate but yeah this car looked like it did have some goodies on it but unfortunately every single one of them is destroyed we got an e39 wagon not in the best shape. Looks like they were in the middle of an interior swap, but didn't get around to the dashboard. Um, or maybe this was just a swapped in dash. I don't know, because it has black carpet. Has a metal in pedal, some other random stuff. A bunch of cup holders in here. This little uh, suicide knob, nice. Not much left in here. What, for the steering wheel? Uh, so you can hold it and just fucking turn it like a big rig or a lawnmower, whichever one you prefer. We are looking for a bumper, but again, this place taxes us a lot for just basically junk. So, those are old. I have like three of them in the garage. This shit is so heavy to hold up. A bunch of random stuff in here. Damn. Hey, this one's awesome. Some nice Bilsteins. Pretty nice. Not bad. Some, some decent finds here. There's nothing crazy. Actually, I... Dang it. I need this. <laughs> need that for my e92 eddie i need a i need a roundel for my e92 let me find me a good one find me a good hood roundel i need one for my e92 dang it dang it i'm pretty sure this was on marketplace i was gonna buy this for like 1300 <laughs> but i never i think i've Said I was gonna meet the guy and then I lagged. <laughs> so it ended up here. Bro, does nobody got a good hood rondel? Dang it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, starting to fade. I thought I got lucky, but I didn't. We got one more road to search. Uh I'm really sorry if the wind is terrible, but we gotta search one more. Hey, save that. We could program it to your car. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Little, little E92, I ain't checked this one out. Oh, these are mint. This is mint in here. Dang, I wish I had single hump. Edward's a single hump type of guy. Excuse me? Hey, this one was manual. Damn, everything's good strip. Stop with the damn key, bro. Damn, that's like, this was actually a pretty good parts car, to be honest. Drivetrain was probably all right, solid out of this one, so it's gone. Basically, that one's stripped. 
No bueno. Damn, these cars got hit hard. We're gonna call it a wrap here. We're gonna leave that replica behind. We got interior trim, technical graphite, and we did get, um, what you call it, the hood latch cable. There are some little upgrades in here, randomly mixed around. We do need a few more things, but um, this yard is pretty busy and everything basically gets junked right away. We're gonna be leaving behind the reps anybody wants to come get here they need a full 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 repair but we're gonna go ahead and get out of here nothing too crazy here today but we got there is one more yard we could always go to probably not today but what is what's, what brand what brand uh it just says michael flow <laughs> supposed, to, supposed to say flow master it just says michael flow then part of a transmission in here this thing was pretty stripped. Anything in here? Ooh, this interior is actually pretty nice. This interior is pretty valid. I actually like this. Damn, that's actually a nice color. It must be nice. I need the peanut butter. I've yet to have some good tan interior. Produced by Motorsport, baby. All right, it's an automatic E46. Oh my God. What the? Who is in here? This car is mangled. Powered by M Sport, baby. 325i. Absolutely base of base. They need to take that sticker off ASAP. Oh, uh, yeah, that's about it. There's nothing really up. Everything is pretty much junk from here on out. This car is completely destroyed. I don't even know why it's here. Why would they even put this in the yard? And that's going to be a wrap for today. Unfortunately, not everything we came here for, but good enough to to get some progress done. Um, a lot of progress, actually. Really, really none. All we can do is open the hood now. <laughs> All we can do is open the hood and keep it up. That's it. What do you mean? We got shit. I mean, we got stuff, but you're not going to see any like physical transformation. We low-key do need a fender, but there's quite a few E39s here. Um, if we end up do needing a fender or possibly... Uh, the mounting piece for the fender. We do have one more yard in Vegas. Uh, we could always go to that one and get a fresh pick and also possibly get something new. But we're gonna keep a lookout on the first yard we went to. That's our best option. This place is gonna charge you like $100 for some shit that's $30 on Marketplace. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and hopefully not get pressed on the way out for the fourth time. Every single time we've come here, we had an altercation, so Yep, wish us luck. We're gonna go hopefully check out and maybe what do you think we're gonna get through first time or you think we're gonna have to go again? Take everything out, take everything out of your pockets, take everything out of the bags. Tell us that we took something, we have to go back and pay for it. Then the cashier is gonna say, Bro, you already paid for that, you're good. Then the security is gonna tell us you didn't pay for that, you gotta go back. And then the cashier is just gonna tell us to walk out and ignore them. And then they're gonna be yelling through the parking lot, basically. And we're gonna see how much how much that bag is at the other junkyard, 10 bucks. This junkyard should probably 300, probably 300 bucks. We we'll probably say put that shit back. We're not gonna want it. We got our two junkyard hauls right here. Everything right here, we ended up being um, 70, 75 dollars for all of this from two yards. We're gonna get out of here. Got my baby M3 here loaded up with a bunch of shit. So we're gonna get out of here, go home, and uh, we'll unload the parts there and show you exactly what we got. We have arrived home with all this shit. It should have been clunking and clacking in the trunk. So let's get all this stuff out and start seeing what we can do right away. And here is the junkyard haul. That's the junkyard haul right here, the E92. Okay, let's start off with the E92 since we're looking at it. I needed this. Um, this is a little broken, but my switch isn't holding this thing. So it's pretty broken. I'm gonna swap this one out. I don't remember if this was faded or not. Um, this panel I'm hoping was the same. I don't really remember But this junkyard is hella cheap. So I needed this panel because my buttons were hella faded uh, It had a tacky um, red start button that was pretty worn or pretty greasy. So I needed that uh, The parts 540 needed a handle. So we have E39 parts now. We have one hood cable two hood cables the hood handle um, the bumper bracket, just some extra lights because I think one of them were broken. Um, actually, I don't think so, but it's always good to have extra. We needed this because this is part of the trim. 
it's really not i don't know what the hell this is it's like some ebay part but it's already on there and we can take that off and replace the wood one so if we swap that trim it will match but again we have full technical graphite with this little t our tm our tpms we have full set where's the other little piece right here the center console is complete with this little plastic piece i'll see if i have the bolts if not we'll glue it but then we have both rear pieces both front pieces and the side um don't tell the hoa but we needed a 2024 plate so we could put it in the street but yeah always take good license for <laughs> the hoa just for the hoa not for legal reasons of course but for hoa so then that's a little parts run and then over here um i did take these latches along with it because everything was functioning perfectly and we needed the crash support we needed this um rebar bumper support again this one was actually straight good condition hood struts and the bolts so we have these parts and then we come over here and we have everything right here basically 75 bucks um there's one more yard that we didn't go to but we will be going there soon damn and then um yeah we're gonna get started working on the e39 right now we're gonna put that in next videos but today here is the junkyard haul and we're gonna get out of here in this video i don't want to make this too long and i don't want to make it too off topic so this is gonna end it for the junkyard and then we're gonna pull up the 540 right now and i need to work on my e39 and 5 as well my hood cable broke so we got to replace that so let's go ahead and jump over to a 540 video we're gonna get out of here for this one expect a 540 video very soon after this but i appreciate you guys like comment and subscribe let me know if i missed anything in the cards you saw let me know how your junkyard hauls go the best things you guys got these are the wheels that we've also had from the junkyard uh these are will be for sale they are for sale make an offer 19 inch style 65 reps we're gonna get out of here later guys like comment and subscribe and uh we'll catch you right now with another video later